light and the screen is showing a lot of life. Not right now, but we went through a lot of life, man. Hey folks, welcome to the new 2020 season of Ken Westerfeld Fishing. Uh, first day out on the Togzilla here. It's uh, Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Uh, first pandemic boat trip, as you saw. I had the face mask on. Um, it's just Anthony and I on the boat, and uh, we've been very cautious in our practices uh, I know I don't have the mask on right now at this moment but we are safe social distancing we're more than six feet apart he's in the stern I'm at the helm and uh, yeah that's what life is like these days as uh, most everybody knows so um, I'm very excited to finally uh, have the boat in the water and running good and uh, the plan for today is that the reports for fluke fishing have not been great. Uh, fluke has been open since May 4th and uh, haven't heard a lot of great reports in the North Fork area of uh, a lot of keepers landed. And uh, people are saying that the water is on the cold side. I'm not really certain because I don't have the experience to know what the average temp should be in this area at this time of year. We had a warm winter, we had an early spring, but the wind has been up and it hasn't been warming up and we've missed a lot of uh, days where it has not been fishable, the wind's been blowing. So I'm very happy to be out on this day. The plan is porgies. And uh, we're going to try for, we're actually trying for fluke right here, right now, as you see. And there will be other surprises along the way. Stick with us. So what you're seeing here, folks, is uh, as we were drifting for fluke, we noticed off in the distance, congregating around a point, that there were birds working and a couple of boats uh, bunching up together. So we made our way over there and we respectfully got in line. We didn't cut anybody off from their drift and um, we... We drifted, and I saw what was going on, and we got into some bass, and uh, then I switched it up to my gummy shad, because I like the light jigging technique, the 
jig is one and three quarter ounce and you know that jigs come in many different sizes so this is a light jigging technique and um, Anthony had some problems struggled to get the hang of it but he did hook a few and it was a whole lot of fun Wassy wassy on the gummy shed. <sighs> Gotta go back up.
any 40, 50 pounders? Did you get any 40 or 50 pounders? No. Did you get any keepers? Oh, yeah, it's 327. Ah. Uh. All the rest are about 20, 24. Yep. Oh, a lot of fish. It's fun.
Come on back, try again. Probably a keeper, but we throw back. Show him mercy. Okay, folks, so uh, Anthony just let me know right there that we needed four more to box our limit for the day, and I wish I had more exciting porgy footage to show you. Usually this particular area produces a good amount of two to three pound porgies. I got my biggest one in this part of the world. Um, it was three and three quarter pounds and like 19 and a half inches, so this place is known for really good quality porgies. Unfortunately, we were seeing some nice ones, a pound and a half, maybe a pound and three quarter. Not quite legitimate two pounders today, but uh, like I said, we were just very happy and fortunate to be out there catching fish, boxing a limit. We had a great uh, surprise innings with the... Uh, striped bass in the morning and then again in the afternoon as I was on my way back to the dock. Uh, here's a quick shot of a beautiful keeper sea bass that of course is out of season. I had to throw it back and uh, then here's another little shot of Anthony's big eight pound tiger skate that gave him a little bit of a fight. There's the eye of the tiger skate. Um, it was a great day. We tried fluking to no avail. We caught lots and lots of sea robins and they all went back and uh, we didn't even get a short fluke. Uh, the reports have it that this particular area hasn't been producing the fluke very well. 
Uh, a few fish have been caught in the afternoon on the warmer part of the day. Um, not many keepers at this point, so we're hoping that that's going to pick up. And uh, maybe next week when I see you with another new video, uh, I hope to be showing you some big fat keeper fluke and maybe some nice weak fish. Uh, whatever the good Lord blesses us with, I'm just looking for the opportunities. Weather windows have been tough to find to get out, but uh, in the coming forecast, I see a couple of days that might work out for me. So without further ado, uh, thank you again for watching the inaugural trip of the Togzilla for 2020. Uh, pandemic fishing and uh, everybody stay healthy and well and safe and tight lines everybody I hope you get out fishing see you again soon